graph and calculator to create and interpret scatter plots. We can ask ourselves the question, what is a scatter plot? Well, a scatter plot is simply a set of data graphed as ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. How is data gathered? Well, data is gathered experimentally. The results of the experiments are observed. These observations are written down. Also, data from demographics, from statistics, are used to gather data. So these data can be assembled in tabular form, like they're done here. Here we have a relationship between altitude and temperature. The altitude is our independent quantity. Our temperature is dependent quantity. Altitude is in feet. Temperature is in degree centigrade. And so if we go to STAT and enter, we can enter these data under L1 and L2, independent coordinates under L1, the dependent coordinates under L2. And from here we can go to Y equals, turn on our plot. We can go to zoom 9, which is zoom stat. And we can see our points plotted here. If we go to our window view, we can check the numbers that our calculator determined based on the data that are optimal for being able to see these points. So we go back to graph them and we can see our y-intercept at 0 comma 15 and we can see this point here at 4000 comma 7.1. We can go to stat calc and since our relationship looked like it was pretty linear we can go down and run a linear regression by pressing 4 and then enter twice. We have a slope of negative 0 0.0019 97 and a y-intercept of 14.98. We can enter this into y equals by going there first, going to VARS between program and clear, going down to statistics, pressing enter, and arrowing twice to the right and pressing enter. And what this does, it pastes the function that our calculator determined into y1 and we graph it and we see that it fits these points rather nicely. And now that we've graphed, we can use the function to evaluate. And we can do that first by using our free cursor. If we just go ahead from the graph view and just start pressing arrows, it can move the cursor wherever we want. Here I've moved the cursor to the right to 3,481 feet. Then We can move down and reaching the line of regression we come to a temperature of y equals 8.15 degrees centigrade. And we can use the trace function. If we go to trace it will hook up our plotted points first but we can arrow up once and it brings us to this function and then we can go left or right with the left or right arrow and go up and down that line wherever we want. Here at 1,489 feet we see a temperature of about 12 degrees centigrade. We can go ahead and use the calc menu by pressing second, trace, enter, and here where it says x equals we can enter whatever we want here 600 feet, what's our temperature going to be? Well, according to the relation calculated, it's going to be about 13.8 degrees centigrade. We can use a table view by going to second window, and here we can use the table set mode and change our independent variable here. Instead of auto, make it ask. And the nice thing about this is we can go to second, graph, and we don't have any values here entered for x. Under ask, it's this, it's this way. So we can enter, say, 1,800 feet. What is our temperature going to be? Well, about 11.4 degrees centigrade. One thing we can do in uh, table views, we can enter values beyond the scope of the data. So here we can enter 6,700 feet for instance and we get 1.78 degrees 
centigrade. And then we can graph a dependent quantity if we want to find out a certain temperature at what height it would take to reach a certain temperature along the dependent variable axis we can go ahead under y equals again and enter a value. In this case we want to find out what altitude it would take to have a temperature of 9.8 degrees centigrade. We enter 9.8 here and press graph and so here we have traced in orange a horizontal line that represents 9.8 degrees centigrade and that is our intersection point. We can find it that point by pressing second trace 5 enter 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 and we get at 9.8 degrees centigrade uh, an altitude of 2629 feet. Now let's look at another situation here we have um, studies have been done about the consumption of bottled water per capita per person and we can see based on this data that it has pretty steadily increased since 1998. What I'd like you to do at this time is stop the video, see if you can plot these points, and then use the points to determine the function of an equation to fit these points. Okay, here's the data plotted in stat enter. And from here, here are the points graphed. Went to zoom stat to see this and then went to stat calc 4 to run a linear regression and here is that regression pasted into y1 and here we have a line that does not fit exactly. Scatter plots are not usually fitted exactly by, by lines or curves but we can ask ourselves a question here and do some evaluation. The trend continued. What would be the per capita bottled water consumption in 2009? Well, we can go ahead and access our table view again. And we can just go ahead and enter 2009 and see that if the trend continues, the per capita water consumption would be in 2009 a little over 30 gallons. So to summarize, First you need to plot the x-coordinates under L1 and then plot the y-coordinates under L2. You need to make sure plot 1 is turned on then graph points by choosing zoom 9 for zoom stat. And then you need to run a regression for a line of best fit by pressing stat calc 4 for linear regression. And finally you can use that function by entering it in y1 and then you can evaluate the data and make predictions from it or in evaluations. I hope this video has been useful to you. I invite you to see our other videos. Thanks.